嗰陣時話好少啊，現成嘅西裝啊嘛，做咁好多遊客啊，一嚟到香港最開心咧，就即刻揾嗰啲裁縫師咧幫我度身啊，度身咧，甚至到有有啲師傅咧就上啲遊船咧，就幫嗰嗰啲遊客咧度身啊，一天兩天就做起噶啦。Our first store, our first custom tailoring store. Uh, was opened in Middle Road in 1945. We moved over to a much larger store on Nathan Road uh, in the in, the, in six, 1961, uh, in which we occupied actually the basement, the ground floor, and the first floor of the Imperial Hotel. And when Ocean Centre opened, uh, we had the largest department store in Ocean Centre in those days. That was the beginning of our of our relationship with Jim Sajjo. Like the Chinese Tower, before it was not like that. It was in the Marathi. 重慶嗰個廣場同埋泰國誒、呃、泰國廣場好出名嘅，有辦館啊咁樣。所謂辦館咧，呢一區裏邊咧，無論各行各業都有嘅，皮具啊、手袋啊、五金啊、相機啊。重慶大廈一開嘅時候咧，樓下咧已經有幾十種唔同種類嘅相鋪，珍珠啊、金飾啊、啊。象牙啊，所以佢個發展商咧，當時咧買個白啊，出去講重慶大廈係屈不盡嘅金礦。我最大嘅大佬就即係我誒 Mr. Scott Chan， 佢十六歲嗰年係由我哋鄉下出去上海就學師做做恤衫嘅。咁就一九四九年，好多上海人嚟香港，咁啊佢跟埋上海幫嗰啲西裝啊，做恤衫嗰啲人嚟咗香港做發展。即係五三年至五四年之間係佢係金巴利度三十四號地下，就開咗第一間個鋪頭。上海財網嚟咗香港咧，就係做專做西裝。冇人做恤衫嘅，咁我大佬咧就專做恤衫嘅。咁啊當時機會幾好啊，好多裁縫鋪啊，介即係有人做恤恤衫就介紹俾我哋做。咁啊咁啊開始嘅。嗰陣時候象牙未禁嘅，開放嘅，開放嘅。咁咧，因為象牙咧，就香香港香港咧，就有好多象牙嘅工藝咧。就世界水準嘅。Today, the peninsula's frontage looks much as it did when it was opened by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Hotels Company in December 1928. At that time, few felt that Kowloon even deserved such magnificence, let alone could make it a commercial success. But some saw differently. Major shareholder Sir Ellis Kadori was the first of a distinguished family to take a central role in the company's affairs. The tradition passing to his younger brother Sir Ellie and later to his nephews Horace and Lawrence. Lawrence, the late Lord Kadori, was at the peninsula on opening day. It was an extremely hot day, and we all stood in the hall in the lobby of the peninsula, and we were extremely hot. It was opened by Southorn, who was then deputy governor, and uh, it was a great day because uh, Jimmy Taggart, whose idea it was to build the peninsula at all, was laughed at, and they said he constructed a white elephant on Kowloon side, and that nobody would ever live there. Uh, Kowloon was the sort of place they asked you, uh, are you married or do you live in Kowloon? and it certainly did not have much prestige. You arrived at the railway station and there was nowhere of any consequence where you could stay in Kowloon, so they had to go across to the island where they stayed at the Hong Kong Hotel. One of the great events of the early years of the peninsula was the golden wedding of Sir Robert Ho Tung, comprador of the colony's oldest trading company, Jardine Matheson, and one of Hong Kong's most eminent philanthropists. It was an expensive day for Sir Robert. 
As well as paying for a spectacular reception for hundreds, including the governor, he gave a $200,000 donation to a fund for the welfare and education of poor children. Then, at the end of the day, it was found that his guests had carried off large quantities of table linen, crockery, and cutlery as souvenirs. Sir Robert paid in full. As a director of the hotel company, it may have been impossible for him to do otherwise. The Japanese occupation lasted for three and a half years. The peninsula suffered badly from internal neglect and dilapidation, but the structure still stood firm, and so did the hotel company's entitlement to it. With peace restored, the Kowloon Canton Railway resumed its normal service. Farmers and factory workers, shopkeepers and clerks started to create order from four years of chaos. Stable government was returning too. On the forecourt of the peninsula, the Secretary of State for War took the salute at a parade to honor former Stanley prisoners of war who would assist in setting up the first post-war administration. The peninsula was back in business, and Hong Kong was on the edge of an economic miracle that would make it the envy of the world. The pen was very much the center. Uh, when everybody came to Hong Kong, they would say of the pen. From the emperor, uh, Prime Ministers and we had everybody said and of course also uh, a lot of movies were made out of out of the pen for instance. Uh, Soldier of Fortune was one of the first ones. Uh, with Clark Cable in, in the 60s then Love is a Many Splendorous Thing. Uh, then the world of Susie Wong mm -hmm. and the one with the man with the golden gun. Imperial. Uh, I started in 58, we opened in 1960. 61 I had two Chinese partners with me. Uh -huh. But they, when the, you know, the cost of construction start rising, they, they want sell out. So mm -hmm. I took it over. We give the name Golden Mile. Chim Sa Choi was not known as Golden Mile. The name was because the square foot of land was more costly than the square foot of a, uh, gold. $40,000 a square foot at that time. Uh -huh. And go, you can make a gold, you know, uh, less than that. Hong 又有妓女,又有回到家 在1917年開始在香港做生意 在亨弗利士道,在一個幾單純的地方 <笑>芝麻海芝麻嘴是中原 and then we went to the, because every Indian before was silk store. Mm -hmm. I changed to the custom telling. I was the only one to begin with the, the 
clothing business. And this is where our, our, we grew into this area since then. Mio 除了之外,也有一些本地的品牌 又開多一間草衣前,又開多一間開頭來到從天大廈 Hello, and I was playing in a band on weekends and uh, doing what they called tea dances in those days, which were afternoon sessions on Saturday, Sunday from about four to six o'clock in the afternoon, where all the teenage kids would go. I think even in those days when I was 16, 17 years old, there were not that many hotels in Hong Kong. It was a, a peninsula, of course, uh, in their um, magnificent ballroom and uh, and different private clubs like the Kowloon Cricket Club. Mr. 我的家族很多合理我們當時的半島會有很少 有資產最多時候遊客五幾年開始開始多一點遊客來香港所以我找錢多過我爸爸但也不是說很多錢也不是找一個 do you need a guide to take you shopping? I know all the shops. I can find the best price. I will give you a commission for me. It's 10%, 5%. I will give them a guide to take you shopping. 七零年代有戰爭
嗰陣時車尼哥夫咧，誒、呃、好平民大眾化嘅，唔因為嗰陣時候唔係個個話咁容易去酒店食嘢，誒、呃、佢個特色咧就係、是、有有長餐有有全餐，咁樣我我都記得咧食食個嗰啲車尼哥夫嘅全餐咧，咁啊有啊、呃、有有個頭盤又有啲沙律啊，誒有個湯啊，又有雪糕啊，誒然之後咧。正式咧又係牛肉啊，或者係魚啊咁樣咯。話我哋呢度啫，重建大廈呢度好出名嘅啊，新必要啊，新必要夜總會啊，呢、這個咧新必要夜總會當時其實咧喺重建大廈一誕生嘅時候咧，佢嘅第二年啊嘛，嗰陣時籌備做呢、這個係香港日式夜總會嘅前身。金鋪酒樓咧，誒最早嘅時候好出名嘅，早期咧。就係、是、誒、呃，所以夜總會咧係誒啲酒樓有飯食啊，誒、呃、有有音樂啊，有酒飲嘅。嗰陣時酒樓嗰啲興叫夜總會啊。誒、呃、後期最大咧，海洋武功啦，嗰陣時羅文啦、啊、汪明荃啦、啊、徐小鳳啊，都喺度唱。嗰陣時未未有紅紅紅啱體育館噶嘛。未曾發展為一間學校之前咧，呢呢塊地咧係一個好有錢人家嘅平房，修女就用咗一啲錢咧就買咗嗰間屋，咁就我哋咧就開始招收一啲學生，就初期咧就一個貴族學校嚟嘅，五幾年咧你即係四九就赤化啦嚇，咁、嗯、然後咧就啲新移民湧入嚟啦，咁佢哋就覺得即係要走平民教育啦，咁教育處咧就同即係俾我哋咧就係、是。Well, the Marine Police Headquarters in Saint Petroy was wasn't just offices for the for the senior staff. It was where the crews actually changed duties. So we don't know that was a working police station. Where now you have that shopping centre and things was a, a, a lovely grass lawn in those days, which ran out to the. The tower, the signal tower, yeah. So there was room in those days to actually parade your crew, inspect them, march them up and down a bit, shout so that the senior officers inside <laughs> could hear you were on the job. At that time, there were very few police stations in the land which had an officers' mess with a bar. So the mariners' rest, is what it was called, uh, was one of the first. Yeah, the mariners' rest. Yeah. That was the social centre for, for for marine headquarters. There would always be a lunch if your monthly conference was on. And these curries came from, they started off with the Indian constables that were in Chem Sa Choi. Then it became the, the fashion for the, the sergeants to learn to make these curries. The sergeants were in the city. 即係好活躍嘅嘅嘅一個人嚟嘅。咁喺戰爭嘅時期咧，我記得咧，佢哋都有所謂組織一啲自自衛嘅，即係護衛嘅組織，即係組織啦嚇、啊。就喺嗰段時間咧，接收咗好多啲親戚啦，有時即係我哋做做誒、呃、做事多，梗係有米有有糧噶嘛。要錄嘅話，即係烘托台話，即係 We used to be the pillars of the Chen Sa Choi Kai Fong。That is not the money that you give to the people. It's a part of your time you give to the people. 我哋本嚟咧係中國人為主嘅，啊，那麼除咗咧誒個時代嘅轉變，啊，那麼梗係都有英聯邦國家嘅，譬如印巴籍嘅，啊，我南亞裔嘅，誒，跟住尼泊爾嘅，或者孟加拉嘅。特別咧係尼尼泊爾咧，佢哋之前啊，因為係係回歸之前啊，嗰陣時解散該白兵啊嘛，那麼佢哋後一代咧啊，有啲譬如我仲係居住喺呢度嘅都有啊，其他啊大廈好少有咁多外籍人士，特別係非洲南亞裔，佢有一個好處，就見到大家 hello 聲都係客，我都係。啊，可以交流喺邊度買嘢啊，喺邊度誒誒辦咩事啊，佢覺得好親切咯。我哋嗰個位，誒羅山呢度而家都五廿幾年啦
，已好多人讲报道已经搬晒啦。我哋始终一个 family， 呢、这个我已经梗系啲有嘢好有感情噶啦。行落去都话哇，几廿年都喺呢度，都唔想搬咯。When you made your home,、mm-hmm. I'm Indian. I made my home in Hong Kong.、Right. Hong Kong is my home. I must give charity to the people who made me what I am today. I give back to the home people.